There is no better afternoon snack than a chocolate brownie sandwich. Two hazelnut brownies with a delicate vanilla cream filling. Let's get started. First, sift the flour and baking powder together. Set aside. Then, put two eggs in the bowl of a stand mixer with a whisk attachment. And the sugar. Beat until it forms a light fluffy mixture. Meanwhile, roughly chop the hazelnuts. Now the dark chocolate in a bain marie. This is a double bottom pan. Until creamy and free of lumps. Add the butter. Stir until completely melted. Turn off the heat. Transfer to a bowl. Restart the mixer. Then, between the chocolate butter mixture, the sifted dry ingredients, and lastly, the hazelnuts. spatula to clean the sides of the bowl and add the hazelnuts. The batter is ready. Now pour into a rectangular baking pan. This is 12 by 13 or 3 quarter inches, lined with parchment paper. You can use butter to keep the paper from sliding around. Spread the batter evenly in the pan. Make sure it's not too thick because we'll sandwich two brownies together with filling. So they'll be quite thin. Bake in a preheated steady oven at 350 degrees for about 20 minutes. Then remove the pan from the oven and allow to cool for at least 10 minutes. After that, place in the fridge to cool. Move on to the vanilla cream filling. First, dissolve the wheat starch in a little milk. It must be cold to prevent any lumps from forming. Pour the remaining milk into a saucepan. Turn on the heat. Add the seeds from a vanilla pot. The sugar, mix to dissolve the sugar, then add the dissolved with starch. Now stir over low heat until the mixture has thickened. It's done. should be the same consistency as creme anglaise that is thick enough to coat the back of a spoon. Transfer to a shallow container.
cover with clean film, pressing it directly on the surface to prevent the skin from forming, and let it cool at room temperature. Then, place in the fridge for at least an hour. Once cooled, transfer the fill into a pastry bag. Remove the browning from the fridge. Keeping it cold ensures a clean cut. Slide it out of the pan. Love the parchment paper. You can trim the edges for a neater appearance if desired in this way. Don't throw away your course, but eat. And cut into rectangles about one and a quarter by two and a third inches. Now you can start to assemble. Use two brownies with the flat sides facing each other. Cut off the corner of the bag. Add the filling. And cover. Here's the first brownie sandwich. Repeat until all the brownies are used up. Meanwhile, let's see together the ingredients needed for this recipe. Ingredients for 20 chocolate brownie sandwiches. Seven ounces of dark chocolate, one and a half sticks of butter, two eggs, half a cup of hazelnuts, just under one cup of cake flour, one cup of sugar, one teaspoon of baking powder. For the vanilla cream filling, two cups of milk, a fifth cup of sugar, two tablespoons of wheat starch, one vanilla pot. These chocolate brownie sandwiches make a lovely snack, sure to delight kids and adults alike. Cook them yourself, let me know if you like them.